We got to talk about this Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight being announced as a pro fight that's going to be sanctioned. It goes on both of their records. Never in my life did I think that I would see, and I'm not even, listen, I didn't even see Tyson live, right? But I know Tyson and his body work. Never in my life did I think I would see him face off against Jake Paul. Nevertheless, here we are, and we got to talk about these new set of rules. So off the bat, this fight will go down on both of their professional records. That means if Mike Tyson loses to Jake Paul, there will always be that blemish of losing to I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, a low-level pro. I wanna give Jake the benefit of the doubt. I'm not gonna say YouTube boxer because I don't think he is that anymore, but still, it's a low-level pro. I think it's a fight that in Mike Tyson's prime, I don't even really think you could justify a fight like that in Mike Tyson's prime. Let's just put it that way. But Jake Paul now, he has a lot of, uh, as the kids say, clout these days. Mike wants a big payday. It's gonna be on Netflix. They undoubtedly threw a bag at both these gentlemen to make it happen. So we're having it happen. And for Jake, if he gets a win over Mike Tyson, he's going to, I'm sure, run with that to the ends of the earth. Like, we're never going to hear the, the end of that if Jake wins this fight, which I hate to say it, again, with the movement that he presents and the power that he has, I, I'm a little bit scared for Tyson in this one. That will go down as a win on Jake's record, so a lot of people are pissed about that. I'm not the happiest about that, but it is a better outcome than this being an exhibition, in my personal opinion. Not to say that I don't like watching Mike Tyson fight, but his exhibition with Roy Jones Jr. didn't really do it for me. I, I wasn't really invested in that fight, so that adds something to this fight, uh, but I think it would be damn near impossible to find a really good reason for this fight to take place but that's kind of besides the point as well I, I, I'm still gonna watch it and that's what I think is so fun about a fight like this and especially now the fact that it's going pro I always say and I, I always use this analogy on the channel it's almost like a car crash like you can't look away from a fight like this you have to be like all right I want to see what happens that's the power of having a big draw like Mike Tyson in there I thought it was a great career move for Jake and it's got to be scary going up against Mike Tyson a lot of people are asking Mike to juice I think he absolutely should I want to see Mike on a ton of just a concoction of steroids for this one. I want him to be able to crack Jake and to be able to mitigate some of the speed advantage that, that Jake might have into this fight. I'm not giving Tyson zero chance because I've been seeing his training footage. He looks pretty good. At least he moves better than uh, two of Jake Fong's last opponents. It's a risk for both men, right? Like I'll say it like this. This fight is a, a really, really entertaining fight, but it is an extreme risk for both men and it didn't need to be made. We should actually probably be thanking Mike Tyson and Jake Paul that this fight is being made when it is. Of course, there's going to be a, a ton of money. Uh, so I'm not saying that they're doing it for the fans. They're not thinking about that. They're taking it for the money, but they're taking it for the money because it's so entertaining. I do want to talk about the fact that it went from being an exhibition to now a pro bout. Uh, so it's officially sanctioned. I think that's going to leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, especially with the rule set that they have now. It's two minute rounds instead of three and the gloves are 14 ounces. So they're deviating and it kind of seems like more of a safe bet. Still dangerous, like I said, but eh, it almost feels like you're getting the, the dangerousness of a regular fight but nobody's gonna give you the credit of kind of going all the way down the scale in terms of just making it. Like, at this point, if you're gonna have a cheat night, why not go for the soda instead of the diet soda? It seems like there's that last little patch there of, of, of a diet, so it's just, just go all the way with it, man. Why are, we, why are we putting 14 ounce gloves? Why are there two minute rounds? I mean, I get it, Tyson's old, but he didn't have to take this fight. If he's gonna come back and it's gonna go on either of these guys' pro records, I don't understand why they don't just make it the, the normal length and have the normal 10 ounce gloves so that we could truly enjoy ourselves here. See, I think that soils it for a lot of people people. Uh, I'm still going to watch, but yeah, it, it does kind of, it's a hook at the end of the line, man. It, it, that's what it is. I'm curious to see what the Netflix presentation is going to be like, because they've never really done, to the best of my ability, live sporting events, certainly not boxing. I want to see what that's going to look like. I'm super duper excited. Without further ado, guys, it's been your boy, the combat consultant, the soundboard God. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.